Next example, the QAnon star Kirsten Weldon, who said only idiots get vaccinated, is dead of COVID. It's we're now getting multiple ones a day. Kirsten Weldon told her fans not to get vaccinated, wanted Dr. Fauci killed. She believed he should be executed. She is dead of COVID. A leading QAnon promoter who urged both her followers and strangers she passed on the street not to get vaccinated died Thursday of the virus. She amassed tens of thousands of followers on right wing media by, by promoting the pro Trump QAnon conspiracy under the name Kirsten W. Um, Weldon focused on attacking vaccines and other efforts to fight covid, saying in one video that Dr. Anthony Fauci needs to be hung from a rope. She claimed the vaccine killed people and even recorded herself yelling at people standing in line to get vaccinated. The vaccines kill. Don't get it. This is how gullible these idiots are. They're all getting the vaccine in December. Weldon started showing symptoms of the virus on December 28th. Weldon struggled through remarks about the coming overthrow of the government, coughing and saying she was exhausted. Three days later, she found herself in a hospital, posted a picture wearing an oxygen mask, claiming she had bacterial pneumonia. She wrote she refused to take coronavirus treatment remdesivir, calling it Dr. Fauci's resmedervir, misspelling it. This is the latest instance of a far right personality who opposed vaccination killed by the virus. I just told you about Doug Kuzma, who also died in the same way. We've previously talked about Robert David Steele. Um, we talked about Veronica Walski, a QAnon follower who was hospitalized with the virus. People started calling in saying, give her ivermectin. She died later that month. Um, what is there to say at this point? I mean, do we have sympathy? My audience is mixed on this. I whenever I do a story like this, some of you write to me and you say, I have no sympathy. They didn't get vaccinated, etc. They are perpetrators. They are also victims. I mean, there, if you fall for this stuff in some way, you are a victim of disinformation. It's it's a, it's an empirical reality. You've fallen for misinformation. You didn't create it. You've fallen for it. And at the same time, you are a perpetrator because you encourage others to do the same. And who knows how many people got sick as a result of either of these individuals. So I know my audience is mixed on this. Um, but at this point in time, uh, given the level of contagion of Omicron and how easily it spreads, the vaccine is increasingly to protect yourself. Would these individuals have survived if they had had three doses? Statistically, it's likely you, you know, you can't draw a conclusion about an individual. Doug Kuzma with his uh, uh, bronchial condition and the weight, he might have died either way. We don't know. Statistically, he would have had a dramatically reduced shot at dying if he had had three doses. Of course, same same with uh, with, with Kirsten Weldon here as well. Um, so I continue to welcome your thoughts about what should be our view about things like this. Uh, but get yourselves vaccinated. My my family lost an additional person over the weekend. My uh, my dad's cousin in Argentina um, vaccinated initially down there. They had the Russian and Chinese vaccines. I don't know exactly which one he had, but vaccinated to some degree um, had pre existing conditions came down with the virus, unclear where he got it, ended up being sedated on a ventilator for three weeks, developed infections, developed kidney issues. Horrible, 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 devastating uh, to the family. And he died over the weekend. Um, and uh, if you have an opportunity to get vaccinated, take it because that's the fate afflicting disproportionately unvaccinated people. My dad's cousin had pre existing conditions. There's no doubt about it, uh, but he was not particularly old and it got him. Why? Why not wear the suit of armor if you're walking through the forest of arrows? Why not wear the seatbelt if you're driving? You might never need it, but you might. 
Uh, and I, I am convinced we are going to see more and more stories like this continue to come in.